Hey everyone, Larry Snow, SJC Web Design here with sort of an informal video, things that are on my mind uh, lately, uh, things that I've observed in the social media world specifically. I've seen a lot of companies, small businesses, uh, jumping on the social media bandwagon. So they've realized that social media is important but rather than spending the time understanding it, setting goals and strategies, organizing uh, what you're going to be doing and what networks your clients are on and finding your clients and listening, all the things that I talk about, all the things that the so-called pundits and gurus talk about, things that are, make logical sense, they are establishing themselves in the social media networks not having a clue on how to get business, get engaged, all the good things that social media can do for you. So uh, I have a little message to those businesses that are actually doing it is just take a step back, relax, Social media is not going away, so if you're behind the curve a little bit, if you've seen your competitors out there a little bit, no need to panic. What I recommend you do is just start listening. Start listening, find out where your audience is, participate slowly, understand your needs and your goals for your business, and then step off, step forward, and get going on social media. I hope that makes sense. I didn't want to go into too much detail. I want to make this video kind of quick, but it's something that I've observed lately, with especially with small businesses. So that's the first thing. The second thing that's kind of irked me this week is people kind of bashing the QR codes. I was actually going to write an article on this, but I thought I'd just do a video instead, a quick little video since I did the thing on social media, so I thought this would tag along. So I've read an article this week, and I think it was a little bit um, salesy. Uh, so they were bashing it because QR codes are not being used in a fun, cool way. And this person's kind of right. I mean, but don't bash the QR code you bash the people that are using it, I suppose. Um, the QR codes, obviously, if you know anything about QR codes, weren't, weren't meant for social media, weren't meant for marketing or advertising, but that's the role that it's in right now. And it's kind of new in the United States, and people are still trying to figure out the best way to use it. Um, I suggest keep on using it, but think creatively. Think, you, use your imagination. Think outside the box when it comes to these QR codes. Um, people say, well, they're just black and white and, and they look boring. Yeah, they do. But if you scan them and you use it intelligently and you use it with, with some imagination, you can uh, get a lot of interest. Uh, I see, I see the, the primary use, at least for me personally, my honest opinion, more for brick and mortar stores rather than digital. Uh, although you scan it in with a digital phone, but you have a passerby going through going through a store, touristy type of stuff, you have some placard QR code in the window, you scan it, it's a 30% coupon right there, please walk in and, and get your 30% coupon off your next meal. Perfect. Um, some people use it for billboards. I don't see how that's, how that's even going to work. Uh, the billboard's too far away. <laughs> Some of these QR readers, you have to get really up close to scan things. And obviously a billboard's too far away. So what I say to people about that are talking negatively about these QR codes is give it a chance, think creatively, think uh, and use your imagination and continue to use them. Uh, and the other point I wanted to make was that there's a company out there, I think it's on Mashable. I'm not exactly, I think it's on Mashable. I'm not so sure, exactly sure where it is on Mashable, but I know that Mashable did a story on, a, on one or two companies that are actually um, have the ability for you to change the colors of the QR codes and actually put in logos and a lot of fun stuff. So 
give it a little bit of time. It's a little too early in the United States for us to like go and, and bash the QR code and say it's useless. Um, just think outside the box, think imaginatively, imaginatively when it comes to QR code. So that's it. Those are the two things that were on my mind this week. I thought I'd share them. If you like the video, please like or subscribe. If you have any comments about what I've said, please post them in the comment section below. See you in the next video.